1.5 joules. Left lower limb operating efficiency, 74%. Muscle response, 81%. Nerve groups, K17B and And after you finish that, home. You're mothering me again. I know the results from Newton are exciting, but even you need sleep sometimes. Isolation of the motor nerves for 100%, and the 50 milliwatt transmitter gives plenty of power. This will be a commonplace medical procedure in a couple of years. But in the meantime, I'll go and check on Newton, then I'm driving you home. Security. Don't interfere and you won't get hurt. We just want Newton. No. Kill him. Dog Seagull. Dog Seagull. Stop the animals from escaping. How thoughtful. Lose it. Stop. Put that away. Guards! Wait, get him out of here. We'll find another way. These motor functions are controlled by minute electrical impulses transmitted down the nerves to the muscles. Yeah, but even a dead frog will move a leg if you stimulate the right nerve. That's right, but poor Dr. Siegel was working on a much bigger scale. Nothing less than a complete artificial nervous system. A network of electrodes linked to organically compatible microchips which, together, would duplicate all muscle control patterns. So people with spinal injuries might be able to walk again? Walk, run, jump, anything. This is a substitute control and guidance system for the whole body. It's very impressive, Dr. Kim. But tell me, where does the dog fit in? Well, we're at an early stage with human tests, but we've had a near perfect result with an animal. Ah, Newton, the guinea pig dog, right? That's right. You're beautiful, aren't you, eh? Newton's carrying over 10 years worth of research inside her. Oh, I thought she was different. She gets on so well with Beckett. <laughs> We've implanted electrodes at the roots of Newton's motor nerves and then linked them to a subcutaneous microprocessor. There's a power pack and transmitter on her collar. She's a perfectly healthy, normal dog, but when we switch this on, we're able to precisely control her actions. You've turned her into a robot. Newton's fine. We direct her by remote control, yes, but she feels no pain whatsoever. Look, let me show you. Come on.
very impressive. She's beautiful, isn't she? Why did someone want to steal you, eh? Why? Because of the technology. The bioengineering's unique. Then why kill the man who pioneered it? The man who could do it again? Wasn't the knowledge they were after or the theory. It's this application. The dog. Dr. Kim, what about the intruders? Any idea who they were? No, but there is a way you might be able to find out. Marker spray. Yes, triggered by the alarm. Anything on its way out of here is hit by a shower of bioengineered fluorescent agent. It's a means of tracking down any animal that might escape from the lab. Right, well, if you can tell us a precise wavelength of the radiation it emits, Dr. Kim, we can use it to track down the intruders. Looks like it. The black building we're coming up to on the left. Two six to Wentz. Targets arriving at their base now. Stand by all personnel. Thank you, two six. That fluorescent spray is definitely giving off the right wavelength, but there doesn't seem to be anybody here. Looks like they've made a move. Let's see if there's any left luggage. What's on the disc? It's a voodoo program. It resurrects the dead. Come again? It's an erasure detection routine. It hunts down any deleted files, resurrects them, then copies them. Looks like this socket's been interfered with. Yes. Found something? Uh-huh. Someone's deleted a juicy half-gigabyte document only a few hours ago. If I can just reassemble it... What have we here? <laughs> what? Is that a bug? It certainly is. Off the shelf model. Question is, who the hell's been bugging out baddies? Freeze! Oh, security! Ed, Roz. There are no current personal or company records for that location. Beckett! Who's this? You've blundered into an SSD operation. Wentz? What the hell? Your colleagues have stumbled in like cowboys and scared off our quarry. Beckett, that's not true. Whoever was here obviously got wind of the surveillance operation. They were gone long before we got here. Wentz, do you know why your targets raided the Austin Institute? The Austin Institute? What are you talking about? The animal research place. That's why we're here, because of the robotic dog. Dog? The man we're tracking is an international extortionist. Wentz, we need to talk. This is not a matter for you amateurs. We're already involved. Ross is working at that computer file even now. Looks like a screensaver. There's rather more to it than that. Someone went to a great deal of trouble to try and hide this. Well, then I'd better get my team to have a look at it. The disc, please. But I'm working on it. The disc, Miss Henderson? Or do you want to add data theft to illegal entry? All right, Wentz, you win. 
We've given you all the information we have. Come on, you've got to give us something in return. You mean like this? That one's known as Alkmaar. He leads the Nordic Front. Nordic Front? Spitsbergen separatists. They're a group of eco-terrorists. They campaign against exploitation of their native land by international oil companies. His two associates, Korvik and Tangsen. Their public image is all about keeping the Arctic clean and pure, but there's a lot more to them than that. Look. Remember that? The Arctic oil tanker spill. Well, oh, that was an accident. Sabotage. Alkmaar and his gang blew up the tanker when his demands for money were refused. They blew it up? But that caused appalling damage to marine life. I mean, isn't that exactly what they're campaigning against? He was prepared to inflict short-term damage to ensure his long-term aim. A very dangerous man. Well, this was kept amazingly secret, Wentz. That is my job, Beckett. So this Alkmaar threatens to cause some outrageous disaster unless he's paid a huge sum of money. Then what? I mean, he doesn't look like the kind of man to fund an election campaign. No, Alkmaar's terrorism brings in money to fuel more terrorism. He plans to buy weapons, explosives, train his forces. He wants nothing less than to set up a breakaway state. And now he's after this little dog. Whatever outrage Alkmaar is planning, this dog is a vital part of it. If we can protect Newton, we can foil Alkmaar. Why do they want Newton? Well, as you said, the technology inside Newton makes her highly controllable, like a robot. But she's much more maneuverable than a robot. She can jump and climb. You said that you've been tracking Alkmaar because you think he's threatening some big black man. We have information that he's planning something major, yes. What's he been threatening to do? We've no idea. Typical SSD. Why don't you just detain him? Well, we could if we could find him. Must be something to do with Newton's size. She's small, aren't you, Curly? My guess is they're trying to use her to gain access to a place where a human being could not. Why? I remember how they trained porpoises for naval sabotage work. We'll take Newton and keep her in a place of safety. Oh, no. I have an armed convoy standing by. Oh, she's never left the Institute. Mr. Beckett. She's only a dog. She's not only a dog, Wentz. Apart from the very precious technology that Newton carries around inside of her, she's a very sensitive and intelligent creature. Couldn't she go with you? Wentz? OK, Beckett. But to my orders, none of your freelance improvisations. Thank you. Uh, Commander. Your convoy of big trucks is going to be a pretty obvious target for an ambush. So? Uh, may I suggest a more subtle approach? No one's going to notice a dog on a lead. One of us should take Newton on the rapid transit system and use your big convoy as a decoy. Agreed. So, who gets to go with the dog? Walkie's new. Approaching platform. Thank you, 26. 4 1, are you receiving? So much for minimal radio contact. When said, all his communications were encrypted. Alkmaar hasn't evaded capture for so long by being technically inept.
gets in trouble. to operate. Directional control is by means of using this. Okay. And you need to be in visual contact with Newton when you're using it, otherwise... If you don't know which way she's pointing, you can't guide her. Exactly. Now, did you give Roz details of the tracker fixed to Newton? Yes, I hope it all made sense. It will. What's going on? We're going to find that dog before Alkmaar does. I've got every available agent searching, but so far, no success. That's because you're doing it by the book, Wentz. Let's see if our unorthodox approach works. We'll be in touch. Beckett, there's only a very weak signal from the dog's GPS. I guess they compromised efficiency in the cause of miniaturization. Hang on, Roz. Newton's got more electronics inside than the space shuttle. And you complain a global positioning system isn't powerful enough. I'm routing it through a booster. I'll have a usable signal for you in the end. I knew you'd handle it. Yeah, but are we any match for the dog? Got away from all of us at the transport terminal. Yep, yeah, Beckett. I'm getting a good trace. Head north towards Millennium Park. She's approaching somewhere that's radiating high energy. I expect she's looking for warmth. Remember, she's used to the lab and not the outdoor life. in a building on Millennium Boulevard at the intersection with Eastway. There's a lot of upper atmosphere distortion, so I can't guarantee accuracy better than 50 meters. Thanks, Roz. Oh, Wentz. What's he want? I don't know. I'll get back to you. Wentz, come in. Go. 
I understand you help people. Well, maybe you can help me. I seem to have mislaid a dog. I don't know what you're talking about. But your friends are engaged in a street search for it, as are my associates. Put these on her. Well, you don't have to. There are two of us. The odds can easily be evened up. Ross, any word from Wentz? He's probably come around begging for help. No reply. She's probably showing him the door. Newton must be in here, yeah? Right. Oh, a whistle that doesn't work. Why didn't I think of that? It's ultrasonic. I oh, know, too high pitched for the human ear, but the question is, Beckett, how do you know if it's working or not? I'll prove it. All right, listen, we'll split up. I've got the remote control. I bet I find it before you do, without the use of a silent whistle. You're on. So the dog's in the building, and your team's already there. How very enterprising. Tanzing, Corvick, I have a fix on the dog's location. So what's the special task you need this dog for? You're not just interested in the technology, are you? That's not your style. That's correct. For me, the dog's just a means to an end. And the end is? Highly lethal. Newton! Newton! Hey, Ed, I found her. She's over by the bottle store. I told you this dog whistle would do the trick. Well, I reckon she just likes your scent. No, you just don't have doggy appeal. I think that's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Hey, back it! Ed. Put the animal down. No. You, come on. Come on, girl. You're wasting your time. The animals are ours now. And time to say the final goodbye. Ed. We have the dog. Excellent. I'll meet you as arranged. I'll contact the authorities shortly to make my demands. Of course, you yourselves won't be around to hear them. Grenades, Ross gets to sit safely indoors. Wentz, get that for me. What is it? Just put it into my hands. Wentz, come on! Now what? 
such a long timer as I scan across frequencies. The instant it starts flickering, tell me. Right. Nothing. Anything? No, nothing. Wentz! Nothing! It's okay. No need for thanks. Okay. Switch on. Good. Right. The video feed from the dog's camera is now working. Excellent. This isn't a screensaver or a holiday snap. This is encrypted data. Wentz, I'm not surprised your experts found nothing. They have used the computer's color recognition program as a code. It's brilliant. What is it, Wentz? Look, if we're going to stop Outmar, we need to know. It's a secret storage facility for warheads. Thousands of tons of explosives, completely automated, unstaffed, sealed. Exactly the kind of place a dog could enter where a human agent could not. Prepare the explosive. Ready. Excellent. Set the timer. Two hours. Counting. Activate the controls. Go, little dog. Five million, or else your city will become one giant crater. This is the Nordic front, and our demands are non-negotiable. The deadline is midnight tonight. Less than two hours. He's using Newton to plant a bomb. Tell us about this munitions store. How much explosive is there? Enough to do what Alkmaar threatens. Well, what kind of warheads are they? Don't ask. All kinds. The kind no one's supposed to have? 25 million sounds like a pretty good deal to me. Not only will you save the lives of countless people, you'll also save embarrassing revelations about the avoidance of arms limitation treaties. Payment is not an option. This is one of the most secret places in Europe and must remain so. Then raid the place. Not possible. Large-scale troop movements would lead to panic which might reveal its existence. How do you propose we stop them then? by making it your problem. I've been authorized to use unofficial agents. However, I'm afraid that, to all intents and purposes, you three are on your own. Twenty-two ten. One hour, fifty minutes to his deadline. Yeah, less of the speaking clock, please, Wentz. I can see why your career in Marine Command stalled. Beckett. Look, why don't you tell us something useful, like how we get in? You can get into the unmanned control room, but after that we've got problems. The building was never designed for human access, so there are lethal devices to stop intruders.
How far is the helicopter? Less than five minutes. Plenty of time to get away. And the money? They'll deliver. Last time it was only seabirds. This time it's people. What a great idea. Put a warhead dump in the middle of a city. Well, that's the official mind for you. Secrecy comes first, well-being of the population, long way second. Yeah, but what's it for, anyway? Not to be over until World War Three. Yeah, but I mean, what's the point? No one can get into the joint. When the balloon goes up, they'll find a way. Until then... It's utterly impenetrable. Except by a dog. And now... us. Okay. Let's assume Alt Morris got his plan rolling. First task is to locate you, Ed. Okay, I'll scan for any kind of control signal. Can't see the dog on any of the surveillance. There she is. And she's carrying a bomb. Not a very big one, but... Even a kilogram of high explosive in an arsenal like this could be enough to set off all those warheads. Yes, Miss Henderson, as long as it's correctly placed. Sector 6 is the most vulnerable. What, what's in Sector 6, Wens? Is it atomic warheads? Chemical, biological weapons? <laughs> is that all of the above? Biggest chain reaction the world's ever seen. How are you doing with the jammer, Miss Henderson? I'm laying out an all-frequency barrage, but it doesn't seem to be having any effect. According to this scanner, Altmar's signal is still getting through. Well, Altmar must be operating from somewhere nearby, Ross. That remote control is a maximum range of 500 metres. You're right. If I can find him, maybe I can disable the remote control from that end. Hey, guys. I've lost the pooch. It's not in view of any of the cameras. Yeah, well, that is the point of using the dog, Ed. She can get into areas that no one else can. All right, Ros. You find out more on the remote. The bomb's already inside. I'm gonna have to go in. Stop you physically. Wentz. We'll need the codes to deactivate the intruder defenses. them. And no mistakes this time. Sector 1. Can you deactivate Sector 2 for me? Okay, Ed. I've got four more sectors to go. I hope you've got the right codes. It's all a bit confusing down here. Sector 6 is straight ahead. Commander, it's him, Altmar. Wentz. Time is short. Where's my money? Arrangements are in hand. The transfer will be made as you requested. I'm online to my offshore bank right now, and I see no money. These things take time. Electronic fund transfers happen at the speed of light. Don't take me for a fool! But what guarantees do I have that you won't explode the bomb anyway? Well, that's a risk you'll have to take.
Ed, Beckett. I might have found Alkmaar. There's a tanker down here, but the strange thing is, it's fitted with a transmitter. Six to six. There's enough warheads in here to vaporize half the city. Hey, I found her. She's here. Newton's here. Here, go. Come in. Newton. Newton. She's still got the bomb. Good girl, aren't you? Yeah, good girl. Good girl. You're wasting your time, Mr. Beckett. Newton, let's see if we can get you out of here. Come in. Come on. Come on. Yeah, come on, girl. Newton, good girl. Good girl. Come on. Ed, Newton began to respond and then turned away. Altmar's still controlling her. Nice work, Ross. I've got Newton. She's dropped the bomb. Here. Go, go. You sit. I can't seem to shift. Ed, there's some lifting gear. Can you activate it? Yeah. Yeah, I've got it. It's electromagnetic. Okay, Ed, take it away. Whoa! Newton, stay, stay. Ed, shut off the grab, it's interfering the timer. Oh, no, it's jumped to seven minutes. Ed, look, I've got the bomb. There's no time to disarm it. I need you to clear me the quickest, safest way out of here. Give the 
bomb back to Newton. I'll use the remote control to guide her out. Right. Newton, here go. Here. Here go. Come to Eric. Come here. Come here. Here go. Come on, Newton. Good girl. Take this. Okay, Roz. She's got the bomb. Start her up. to you. Oh, I had to show a visitor around. Well, if you've got a moment to help me out, I need you to clear the Sector 5 defences for me. Approaching Sector 4, this, there seems to be a problem with the doors. Now, are the lasers on or off? Hang on a minute. If they're still on, I'll get fried if I go through the door. I think that's it, mate. You think? Well, I'm sorry, it's a bit of a mess in here. There's only one way to find out. I just wanted to say, I, I don't suppose I'd be here if it wasn't for you. I hope you're not insulted. <laughs> not at all. It's always a pleasure to receive gifts from our nation's finest. Thank you. Something smells good. I'll email you the recipe.
Your team did well, this time. And I thought we were in his good books. Well, Winston's right about one thing. This looks excellent. Mm. Just because I don't cook, doesn't mean that I can't. Bravo. But what's the special occasion? Why tonight? Hey, Becky, that's enough. There's only three of us. You're forgetting someone. Our special guest. Oh, yeah? Who? 